Hi everyone, just a really quick video on a few little bits I'm doing on the RB7. So the um, I've made a front roll bar for it, so uh, I couldn't find a complete roll bar kit in stock. So uh, I basically bought the mount, the little plastic bit uh, that goes behind the front upper bulkhead. Got a piece of uh, 0 0.8 millimeter uh, piano wire, bent that to suit and got uh, some Kyosho ball ends on one end and then some associated B6 ones on the top. So that all looks quite neat. So just tuck that in there. And the next little job we're doing is uh, fitting up some of these uh, new side rails. So these are something that one of the Kyosho team have uh, printed up. And it comes with uh, these little mounts, as you can see, which will sit on there. And then you can basically adjust your lipo uh, backwards and forwards. So these are awesome. Um, thank you very much uh, for the chap that made these for us. Uh, so there's a few sets out there now. And we'll see how they fare. And it'll uh, obviously do away with... Um, this kind of battery setup we've got at the moment with the kind of foam blocks and 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 uh, this kind of battery strap and the clips etc. And it'll obviously be nice and easy just to to move the lipo around and sort of neaten the car up and give it a bit of a kind of more modern look. So we've got all the other little bits and pieces here and the little battery tabs. So we'll uh, just get these sanded um, as they've got a little sort of rough edge to them from the 3D printer and get them bolted up. And I'll sort of show you as we go through the process. Right, so we just uh, removed all the uh, battery, battery strap, all that stuff. And now we'll take the side guards off and also this little uh, sort of U-shaped brace here we won't need anymore. As you can see, I run an under lipo weight in that. Um, so yeah, okay, we'll just get the uh, get all these plastic bits unbolted and get uh, this side on. I'll show you what it looks like. So that's uh, one side finished, as you can see. So that's, uh, that's bolted up really nicely. It's a great job on the design. The, the screws went in perfectly, so no cracking, and they've nipped up really nicely. And you can see there we've got the little tab, so we can uh, just flick that open to get the lipo out. Pop it in, twist it round, job's done. And then uh, obviously we move it backwards and forwards as well. So that's, uh, you know, really cleaned up the uh, the look of the car. So we'll uh, get the other side done now. I'll show it finished, and we'll get the... Uh, Wheels all back on it in the shell, and we'll call that done for now. So there it is, all finished up. So I've got the uh, other side mounted up, as you can see. That looks really smart. So uh, they're all the bits we've removed out of the car. So a bit of a weight saving as well. Not that it particularly matters with these uh, modified cars. But uh, there we go. Oh, it's really nifty. So I'm dead chuffed with that. And uh, yeah, obviously nice and easy to get the lipo out. So just, uh, I just pulled the plugs in to be neat, but yeah, just basically flip that out, flip that out. That comes a battery. Excellent design. So uh, well done to the man that designed it. I'm not gonna say his name in case he has loads of people uh, wanting a set off of him, but uh, hopefully he does uh, make some of these up because they're really, really good and uh, they fit really well. They've been really well designed. So. Uh, Big thanks to the uh, mystery man that created these and uh, hopefully we'll see these on the market or a proper Kyosho version at some point because I had something similar at the world. So let's see if that uh, that happens or not. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick video and uh, that's the car pretty much ready to rock. I'll just shove the uh, body shell back on, take a quick picture and that'll be the end of the video. So cheers for watching and I'll see you next time.